fabric we have. Let me, I'm going to pull it. One, at least one from each color is this gorgeous purple. It's not that cute. They have really, really cute colors. I'm telling you guys, you won't regret it if you buy anything from Craftsy. I have never regret anything. They are always really nice quality. Um, I mean, the price is affordable compared with other brands, name brands in reality. So let me, I'm going to pull this, this teal color and you watch this gorgeous. Look at that. How nice is that? So I'm going to just put them in here. Then let's go get a pink one. Or do I show the pink already? I don't know, but I will show it again. Here, watch this color. It's not that gorgeous. I really love these colors of fabric. Um, let's get a gray one. Look at that gray color. And then is this kind of a little darker blue and then we have the beige and browns so this is what botanicals fabrics look like like I said before, they are 50. I'm going to pull, pull away so you can see it one more time. What they actually look like. There it is. So they are really nice, really cute fabric. I really love them. So I'm going to put them aside. Then. The next one I have is another bundle, kind of the same as this one, except for the shape of this one is totally different. Um, this one they actually call collage. So let's pull this green. See? More like a little tiny reproduction kind of reproduction fabric in reality so then let me pull a yellow from me uh, this one won't really show much maybe this one this one is kind of roses on it let's see if that can focus a little bit more so and believe me, the camera probably don't make the, the justice to this fabric, this gorgeous fabric. Let's see, let's go for a teal this time. Watch this, guys. I know you love this fabric. You watch. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? I really, really enjoy and love this fabric. So let's go for the little more dark blue. So watch this. It's not that gorgeous. Look at that fabric is amazing gorgeous. The colors are really nice. Fabric is thicker. Uh, and I believe I pay I mean when I bought this one I paid probably about a hundred and twenty dollars or so for 50 bundles and this that cute I really I mean I wasn't going to and I do believe that I actually uh, get a my $25 so it get a little bit more cheaper in that way but trust me guys this this fabric is gorgeous it's just gorgeous so I do have a couple, um, sorry, 
I do have a couple other purchase I made that but this another purchase is with it's like um a pro, a kit so I'm going to show you how they look how the kit look like how they cut the kit so just bear with me and I will show you the whole thing so like I say um this is the one of the kits I'm going to show you and the name is a midnight flower quilt kit and it's with actually the boneless um, fabric botanical that I just showed you so but the quilt look gorgeous guys so this is how actually let me I'm going to show you how they actually pack this for reality came so it came every kit like this is packed like this. So the bag you can reuse the bags. Because the bag is gonna have this cord, you can pull it. Basically, pull it to the middle and then you can close the bag with another project over there. I mean recycling is always good. So, this is basically the, the kit I actually purchased. So they call this one mid flower. And everything came really nice. That paper is thicker enough. So came all the instructions and how you cut every and everything is, this one is at least in color. Oh, you're basically going to sh shape everything template so it looks pretty nice it is nice it's in color this one some of them came in black and white I purchased from them before like a, I have on top over here I don't know if you've seen my pre previous videos but I have on top of there and all those kits I pretty much purchased them from Craftsy too so I I am really fun and it's not like a, they sponsor me or anything like that. I just I like that their prices. I mean I'm telling you every single kit I have over here is on the under a hundred dollars when I purchase it. So who doesn't love a kit that is under a hundred dollars? This one doesn't really say how many jars came on it, but that's how they pack it. And I, I'm telling you guys, it came everything. Um, this one is actually just the top quilting and the binding. That's what actually came in this one. Let me, uh, we we'll use, well, this is these things. So I never use it, this clipper, so, because it's not that great. I bought it years ago on, I think it was a Hancock Fabrics, and I have never used it until right now. I mean, I have a lot of, uh, scissors and stuff like that but I don't do much cut with scissors like I thought that I was going to, going to. and because I, I like to do bags too so I use them only at that time but I use more uh, my my rotary cutter than, than anything else so this is how they I, I won't take everything out because I will never put it back <laughs> so let me try I'm, try I'm going to try pull this one down and try to you guys can actually see this so watch those watch those fabrics so there is that one and then is that the pink one that we already saw and there's that gorgeous purple I love that purple I am no purple fan but this purple is really cute and then they have the, that green uh, that's a small piece actually probably a, cup, a flat quarter and then this is the yellow yellow you can really see it barely see it but it's really gorgeous and then we have that light red 
look at that orange it's actually your orange sorry and then we have that dark blue that's a gorgeous color look at that color oh boy then is the red I love reds I am red fan and then we have another purple let's see here then we have the dark green like a forest green and I do believe that was the last one and the black so all the fabric is from um, boneless even the black one and it is pretty nice fabric I like the fabric so it is thicker is I mean to me it's considerable good quality so it's the same it's kind of the same quality like a Kona and or Moda so this is one kit I'm going to put like I said this one is a mid flower kit I'm going to put this inside because if not I will never remember I'm probably gonna lose it my daughter's gonna take it so let's put this one aside and go to the next one so like I say every single one that I'm going to show you here I purchased it for under a hundred dollars and it came with all the fabric you basically you need for your top quilt so this one came like this and then we have and this one it says that it's a color block solid quilt kit so this one is a solid color now i i see this one when I, this lady angela walters was actually doing this quilt and the reason why i actually purchased it it was is because it's gorgeous uh i do like i never in my i mean during the time i've been quilting i have never made a solid color quilt never I mean everything it's basically kind of another kind of fabric but I have never made a solid color so I think that this is a good um, start for the start to use my my solids now I do believe that the quilt I actually get this time is a little bit challenging because you have to work with circles and this is not like a well i mean when this lady was doing it it's not like a applique this is actually quilt do the the block but it's round circle so this is how the block the basically the quilt look like and like i said this is a block uh color block solid quilt kit I mean it looks really gorgeous guys so let me this is another so in the back of this one is showing all the solid you actually going to need so it does show how, how the yardage it says the black stone you need seven eighth of a yard the flame color is kind of red uh, it says that is you need a fat quarter and then I mean it is it is pretty nice it shows all the quantity of fabric and then shows all the instructions it's in colors so everything is in color I really like when it's color because this is what I was actually talking to you guys see those round I don't know if you can actually see it those round areas so that's what I was actually talking about but it's going to be challenging because I never I have never never do quilt like that before everything has been squares house for triangle um, I mean I've been doing kind of big star but this one is going to be something different so i like challenging i like this I, i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like it so see everything came in color 
I really like it. I like it this way because you can't never get confused. See, everything is in color. So that's one of the things I actually like. See, this is one block. Sorry, here. This is one huge big block. So let's go to the fabric. So see. Yes, they put you again what you actually need and how much you are actually going to need for your back. Well, you basically have to put all your uh, put, put together and then it shows actually the give you the template. So either way you can actually trace it on paper or you can actually just use a template. So. That's nice. I just probably am a little bit afraid of I have never do around quilts before so we we'll see how this go. <laughs> so let's go take a look a little bit. I mean it's it's solid fabrics, so it's not something like a woo. But let's take a look at it, see if feel that quality. I never buy solid fabric from from Craftsy before, I'm not so solid, I bought like a you just saw in the other um, porches I made. But Doo -doo -doo. So like I say, this is the brand boneless fabric, and we are going to try again to see if you guys can actually see this thing. So, hold on, this, is okay. this is how they look like. So this is kind of lilac color. I'm gonna see if this thing can. This is kind of. This is actually purple. Oh, let's see. This is a purple one. And then, sorry. And then we have this is another kind of more dark lilac. I don't really know if you can see. I'm trying to this thing focus better. And then we have that green. And let me off. Uh, uh, this is another kind of yellowish green, like a moisture color in reality. Let's see it fine. This is a little bit more like a moisture color. So then we have the pink. And then we have more darker pink, so it's different tone. Then we have the red. Oops, sorry. So these ones are actually not full yardage, so that's why it's kind of. Let me go and show you a little bit better. See it this way. See. And then we have this kind of purplish more kind of dark fuchsia in reality then we have the red then we have a yellow color hold on So my camera is actually more for focus on the faces, so that's why it has to put everything on my face, for you can be able to actually see it. So it came all the fabric, guys. So this this one I would say that is more like a Kona quality. So there is this another color, and then is the green ones. 
And I'm gonna show you the green. I mean, the colors are really rich. I like that the colors are really rich colors. And then it's kind of this peachy color. Then we have this kind of dark red. Oops, sorry. And then it's another purple, light purple. And then we have this green. So it is pretty nice colors. I really like them. It's pretty, I mean, it, 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 it feels good quality on the fabric. The colors are really cute fabric is thicker like a Kona so see it's, it's kind of Kona fabric so now we compare with a Kona fabric so it is really really nice nice colors Cute colors, cute quality. So that's one of the things that ma major things that I ch actually quilters. I remember one day years ago, um, I was actually in, um, believe it, I was in Wyoming. So it was a lady getting into a quilt shop. And I was already there. I was talking with the with the owner actually at the at the at the shop, and she came and she get really upset because all the prices was was expensive. So um, I mean, where I came from, I am from originally. I born in Honduras. So. When you came to U.S. and you start to look for fabrics there and a lot of stuff, I mean, you are, oh my gosh, so expensive, everything. It is expensive when you compare. Uh, to be honest, it, it is. But when you came and started to look, um, I mean, most of the, the, the fabric here is, is actually labeled and everything, but it's made in China. So she, the, this lady came and make a comment and says, "Yeah, you you guys selling this this fabric really expensive when, when everything came from China it just should be really cheaper, but it is not. So, um, one of the things that you actually look when you are actually going to a quilt shop is a quality on the product you're buying. One, the other is." Um, it's not like a Walmart, like I mean, you can put a fabric from Walmart, you can actually see through. It's really thin fabric. And the other thing is that most of the fabrics that sell in the quilt shop is actually a designer fabric, too. So, I mean, the designer has to make profit, the company who made the fabric it has to get profit. The company who sell you, it, I mean, everybody has to do a win. If not, it wouldn't been able to actually sell anything. But I'm telling you guys, it, sometimes, and I can, I mean, I've been in shows before, like where you actually, the, the, the wholesalers purchase, the retailers purchase it. And... One of the things that people don't understand is when you're going to those shows, it's really, really tired. You hardly have to sleep because you only have about three, four days for make your purchase. Or, um, I mean, that time for you can actually appreciate the fabric, look the fabric, maybe memorize it. A lot of people, you will see them with, with, with cameras taking the picture for they can actually be able. But... The walking in those shows are really tiring. I mean, I've been in a show before uh, for purchasing. 
so it is really tiring and then you have those catalogs that you have to carry it's, i mean when you're coming back if you're going on a plane you are going to pay another extra bag for it's full with catalogs so just imagine one and it doesn't weigh 50 pounds i mean that thing can weigh about pretty close to 200 pounds or 100 pounds at least if you depends how many houses you actually visit but don't I mean when I'm talking about prices Crafts is one of the places I can say it's affordable and it's a good quality fabric so this was like I said before this so like I said before this one is the color block quilt so I believe I have one or two more So here's the other one and this one it looks really cute this one is by Lily Loom quilt and the name of this quilt is actually honey blossom quilt kit sorry guys one trying to show it so this is how the quilt looks like it's a repetitive block so in reality you're only going to make one block but in different kind of fabrics it's just and then obviously the, the, the border they made a different thing and this is the fabric this is how the fabric look like I like when they actually put what fabric is what and give me one second and yep this pattern is actually in color that's nice when it's color because you know what fabric you have to place where um, let me see what else yep placement and color and then they actually give you a template and I do believe this template is more like a for the border so saying that so, like I said before, here it is. This is what it looked like. And believe me, guys, the book, the fabric I'm seeing here is really cute fabric. Really fla 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 uh, flowery. So let's see. This one I don't have to cut. So look at this, guys. Let me, sorry, that noise, but my I have my machine under the desk, so it's a little bit uncomfortable to put your feet on there. So this is the first fabric. This is the next one. So I'm going to go a little bit quick. Look at those fabrics, guys. I did have a little bit more of this one. They have that teal. That I like that one. It's really good. Look that dark navy color. I look at you guys. This one is a little bees. Look at that color, it's so cute. I mean, this thing is heavy, guys, that's why I put them up and down. This one is another bees, except for in the teal color. And then we have in red. And look like a dandelion, this with this, the yellow ones. Hold on. I'm trying to see if you can actually see it. But this, this another one. This one over here is a dental line. You can. It's really hard to see the yellow ones for some reason under the camera. But it looks like this one. 
So that's the pattern of the yellow one, this one that is actually over here. And then we have Fusion. And then the next one is kind of peach color. I really like those ones. I really love those peach colors. And then this is a new shape. Then we have same shape in blue. Hold on. Same shape in blue. And then we have the purple and the red. Same shape. And this is the red. And then we have another navy. Same one I think that we already saw before. And then the last one is the white one. It said for this white is with the bees. So this is what it looked like, the Honey Blossom Quilt Kit. It's gorgeous fabric, guys. It's gorgeous fabric. It's same quality. Thicker fabric. This is actually a little bit more thicker than boneless. And this one is from Lily Loom. Like I said before, this is a fabric you can only actually purchase on craftsy.com. And the quilt, the quilt is actually 88 by 97, so it's really good side quilt. I don't know if you can see it through over there, but it's it, it, pretty much all of the quilts I actually shown to you. It's 70 and up, 70 by 72 by 72. I think is the other one. And the first one I do believe is uh, let me and I'm going to actually. See, it, this one is actually the Mi uh, Midnight Flower Kit. It's actually 84 by 102 um, 